announcing election dates. Whatever this is. The media love the unexpected. It lets them engage in their favourite pastime, wild speculation. All you need is to be confident and wrong. July. August 31 will be the day we go out and vote. February. And I think we'll have an election in May. The day before Rudd took over. Any hope Kevin Rudd had of stealing his old job back from Julia Gillard appears to be over once and for all. The day Gillard called a spill. I'll tell you what won't happen. Uh, it, it does appear clear. Julia Gillard is showing no signs of standing down and calling a spill. Five seconds before Mark Riley watched this show. Anyway, I have to go now because the hamster decides is on and I think it'll make me look pretty good. With so many predictions flying around, there's only one expert the news can rely on. A political expert? No, Psychic Sally. Seeing, you know, all the press with your new Prime Minister, I, um, I actually think that there's a scandal about to hit within that party. Ooh. I think it's going to be to do with someone that has been liaising with... Someone's had an affair. Yeah, an affair. <gasps> Someone's had an affair. Well, psychics do make some good calls. I see cancellation in your future. <laughs> Just because your predictions are wrong, it shouldn't stop you filling your coverage with boasting. Mark Riley is the reason you hear it first on 7. Mark Riley was first in Australia to bring you news of the leadership change. He breaks the stories first. Hey, don't stop there, Channel 7. Mark Riley was first to be completely wrong. No signs of standing down and calling a spill. Don't wait for others to fuck up. Mark Riley is wrong first. <laughs> and other channels have pretty big ups on themselves too. Delivering unrivaled live coverage. Unrivaled live coverage. Unrivaled live coverage. Unrivaled live coverage. Well, Sky might have unrivaled coverage of live news when the election was called, but their coverage of 1958 news was sadly lacking. This one's from 1958. In November 1958, Robert Menzies went to his fifth election as Prime Minister at the head of the Liberal Country Party Coalition. Coverage like that deserves some boasting. ABC is last. News as it broke 55 years ago. Tonight, the ABC News Service welcomes you to the first television cut. If you're stuck in 1958, turn to ABC, but turn slowly. Sadly, they still haven't finished writing the 1966 news. The ABC's Russell Barton looks back at the most memorable campaigns which ended in the government changing hands. This one is from uh, 1966, but I don't think uh, we have that package right at the moment. <laughs> but, uh, right here. Mate, we need that 1966 package. This soon? <laughs> I'm not a bloody telex machine. Of course, the bulk of breaking news is filled with pointless crosses. On the day Kevin Rudd called the election, where better to cross to than outside his house at 7am when he isn't there? Well, there's certainly nothing here yet, Deb. It's a sleepy Sunday morning, a cold... Or the night. airport when he isn't there. And we're just seeing a shot now of the uh, Canberra airport. We're getting some, some lovely shots of that airport on what is a rather blustery day. <laughs> Some planes that look a bit like his, but aren't. That it does look like uh, that does look a like plane that's just landed to me. One plane flying overhead, not as yet the Prime Minister's, but we're, we're here and ready. And where this TV van did a three-point turn. <laughs> this is gold, people. <laughs> Oh, this is van magic. <laughs> Do not move that camera an inch. All right, all right, let's get a viewer poll going about this uh, three-point turn. Come on, I want to see tweets, tweets. Oh, this is our 9-11. It all got so dreary, this photographer opted to take photos of his own hand instead. Eventually, however, every news network runs out of locations where the Prime Minister isn't. And that's when they resort to... Information you need, like from plane trackers. I can confirm right now, Lindell, uh, the Prime Minister is just above Wollongong. This shows you his flight from uh, his flight path from Brisbane, which is particularly interesting for the Al Qaeda demographic. <laughs> the ABC also has a track. Here we see Prime Minister Menzies heading in the direction of Van Diemen's Land. But it's not just Rudd's plane that the media follow. The ABC also filmed the entire route his car might possibly drive. <laughs> and they all...
also filmed the route the journalist took to find that idea. <laughs> but all the panic, all the crossings, all the revealing Rudd's location to terrorist groups, it was all worth it for this historic footage. And there goes C1 now. Prime Minister Rudd on his way. Did you see it? <laughs> it was Kevin Rudd's chin! <laughs> A split second that will live in Australia's history. News, we salute you.